Researchers at Stanford University have found a new method of water purification that is both faster and cheaper than existing methods. The Department of Materials, Science and Engineering created a filter with plain cotton cloth coated with tiny particles called nanomaterials. The cloth is then capable of decontaminating bacteria. Now they're keen to turn the so-called nanoscale bug zapper into a product that could be commercially viable. We've been developing a technology um, that allows us to use a couple of simple inks uh, in order to uh, turn cotton into a, a high throughput uh, bacteria filtering device. When the cotton surface is coated in carbon nanotubes, it becomes conductive. By running a current through the material, bacteria are killed as water is forced through it. The silver nanowires attached on the other side are both inherently antibacterial and a good conductor, meaning less is needed to electrify it, a significant issue for developing countries. We had this idea a couple years ago uh, that if we could somehow combine silver nanowires, which are uh, fundamentally antibacterial, uh, in an intimate way with water, mix it at a very small scale, and then apply a voltage to the entire thing, we might be able to um, kill bacteria at an enhanced rate. I mean, the idea is very simple. We almost wanted to make a nanoscale bug zapper uh, that would just be killing uh, E. coli. Early lab tests were promising with the technology killing more than 98% of E. coli bacteria using 20 volts of electricity. But water requires 100% purification to be drinkable. The breakthrough came when a neighboring lab suggested the idea of using silver for its antibacterial properties. It's very easy to use nanotube to make the uh, uh, cotton conducting, the textile conducting. So we use nanotube. And then silver come along because we want to use silver for another function. Silver intrinsically is antibacterial. So if you put silver nanowire into the filter, and you don't need to do anything, and the bacteria doesn't, cannot grow onto these filters. Um, so eventually we have two functions, make the uh, filter conducting and make the uh, filter antibacterial without even applying a voltage. Technology usually goes hand in glove with expensive materials, but this time it's refreshingly different. Aside from the low-tech application of cotton, the small energy cost of the filter is another benefit. When we talk about low cost right here of these filters, and it can certainly reach the potential low cost for the de developing countries, I think the biggest saving come later is the amount of energy we use for water filtration, use our filters, it's much smaller than the existing filters. That's where you save a lot of money. Yeah. The next big challenge for the research team will be to make the difficult transition from the lab to the market. News that the water filter is ready for sale could not come soon enough for those in the developing world that have restricted access to clean water.